Ruby and Steel 2 from Sapphire Steel Software is a Visual Studio based Ruby and Rails IDE which you can use either with a commercial edition of Visual Studio or, as I'll explain in this video, with a free edition of Visual Studio. You'll need to go to the download page at www.sapphiresteel.com. If you have Visual Studio already, download the Ruby and Steel installer and a compatible Ruby interpreter. If you want a free version of Visual Studio, download the all-in-one installer, which will install the free Visual Studio Shell, a Ruby interpreter, and Ruby and Steel. I'm going to show you here how to run the all-in-one installer. So I just start it off by double-clicking install.exe, and it provides this dialog box with various options. I've left all checked because in this case I'm going to install the integrated shell as well as Ruby and Ruby and Steel, but if you want to omit one or more of those options, of course, you uncheck them before clicking the Install button. Now, this is starting the Microsoft Visual Studio installer. I click the various options to accept the license terms and move on to Next. And now it begins the installation of the Visual Studio shell. Now, as I said, if you've got a copy, a commercial copy of Visual Studio 2010, you don't need the shell. But the shell provides you with a Ruby version of Visual Studio. When, once you've installed Ruby and Steel. This is going to take quite a while to install and I've cut out quite a lot of the time here for the purposes of this video. If you haven't already got .NET installed, you're going to have to reboot your computer at this point. If you've got .NET, that's not going to be necessary. Once it's rebooted, if that happens, uncheck Install Visual Studio Integrated Shell and continue with the installation. Now here you can see I'm downloading a compatible version of the Ruby interpreter installer and again, I just go through the dialog boxes needed to install this. Be sure to check Add Ruby Executables to Path at that point, because that will make sure that Ruby, the Ruby interpreter, can be found no matter where you are on your disk. So the installation continues again. Once Ruby is installed, I click Finish, and now I'm ready to install Ruby and Steel. This will start automatically as long as you've got the Install Ruby and Steel option checked. It's possible that you may be prompted to uh, continue installing uh, a Microsoft tool at this point. Most people won't need to do that, but if you do, then just accept the options and you may have to reboot. Again, this is something most people won't have to do if you've got .NET and the various other tools installed, but be prepared, it's a possibility. Here I'm just going through the Ruby and Steel installation. This is now going to start installing Ruby and Steel into Visual Studio. If you've installed the Visual Studio shell, it's going to install it into that. If you've got a commercial copy of Visual Studio, it'll install it into that. At the end, you'll be prompted to buy now or continue with trial. Well, you can buy later, so I'm just going to continue with the trial at this point. At this point, I'm just going to check that Ruby's installed correctly, so I select from the Start menu Run, and I select CMD to start the command prompt. Um, assuming that you've pathed Ruby, which will happen automatically if you check the option as, as I indicated earlier in the installer, you just enter Ruby space minus V, it'll show you the Ruby version installed. If you want to install the Rails framework, if you're doing Ra Ruby on Rails programming, now use this command gem install Rails. You need to have an internet connection, it'll go away and it will start installing the Rails system. And now everything should be ready to use, so start Visual Studio from the Start menu. That'll take a while to load initially. Again, I'm cutting that short in this video. Um, and now you're just ready to start a, a Ruby project. So create a, a new project from the File New Project menu. Select whether you want a Ruby or a Rails application, assuming you've installed Rails. And now we're just ready to try a simple Ruby program. So I enter some Ruby code, and when I'm ready to run it, I press Control F5, and it runs it in the docked Ruby console. And that's pretty much all there is to installing Ruby and Steel for either a commercial or a free edition of Visual Studio. For more information, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.